I'm going to walk you through how I put this hat together. So after you have your pieces cut, I marked these because I could. Um, you take your crown, join your crown, you go to the center front of the crown, and you've got it marked with that hash mark, and then your sides and your back. You take your band, and you sew the center back on your band, which is back here, together, and then you just match the front of the band to the front of the hat, match the back of the band to the back of the hat, you're going to match your hash mark at each side, and then you just join that on your hat. I usually start at the center front and work to the back on the one side, the center front, work to the back on the other side. That way um, it turns out pretty even. The band is designed to be just a little fuller, and um, so you might have to hold that into the crown a little bit, but it works good. The next thing you're going to do is I, I sew my flaps. And I take my flaps and I sew the center back seam on my flap, on the top flap, and my under flap is underneath here, and I sew the center back seam on my under flap. Then what I do is I tack my tie next. Um, I like to do that because otherwise I forget. I've had a hat, I completely joined it up, and I forgot the tie. So I like to take and tack my tie. What I do is I take a loose stitch and smooth it out with my thumb, a loose stitch on the other side, smooth it out with my thumb, and then I'll join that up when I sew my um, edge of my flap on around. So when I do my flaps, what I like to do is, so this is upside down now, I take and I sew my under flap to my top flap, which is tucked inside, at the center back. And then I tack each corner right here on each side, the center on the top on each side. So that's joined together front to, um, well, you understand what I'm saying. And then I tack the hash mark here at halfway point. Um, and then what I do is I join that up. So I start from the top here and I come down. And then I start from the top here, come down, and then go back to the center. So my flaps are all joined. Then what I do is my brim. So the bill or the, or the brim is um, I had a seam on the on the under one of mine, um, and the top one um, is a little bit bigger. So when you sew this, what's going to happen is you're going to hold in the under brim a little bit to that outer brim. So when this is turned, it's going to make that under brim cup a little bit so you aren't going to see the under brim for protruding over the top and that works out great. So when you put this on, I put the brim on first before I put the flaps to the band. So I started in the center front of the band, put the center front of my brim on and this is the under bill or under brim and I go from the center front to the hash mark, the center front to the hash mark, and then I um, do the same thing with my under flap. Start at the hash mark here at the front, tack it, and then I track all the way around to the center back. Do one side at a time. Now, what happens is the top brim and the top flap is a quarter inch longer, maybe about three eighths inch longer. So you're going to have this short little seam here that you're going to close up after you get the under brim right here and the under flap joined. Then you come back and you shut this little seam up on both sides of the front brim where it joins together. And that is going to give you, when you have this hat turned inside out, 
it's going to give you a turn edge towards the inside of the hat about three eighths of an inch. So my hat's all joined up. The next thing I do is press it. And I use a couple of different things. I have a pressing ham, and these are real firm. And I have a long pressing ham. I have a seam press, and this is a new one. I've got my other one at uh, the lake. And then I've got a, a wood block, which is nice. So I take, uh, and that's probably about, I don't know, 50 years old. So I take my hat on here, and I just do all my seams. I run my iron over my seam and flatten it out. And I try to get each and every one of them. Um, and I do this edge up on the top, and so it looks good from the inside. And you can see how nice that fits on there. Now, next thing is um, the lining. So the lining, what I do is I cut the lining the same um, dimensions as the crown and the band. And, but I add um, a seam allowance to the crown and I add a seam allowance to the band. So this band is four and a half inches wide. So I like to cut my hat lining a little deeper because I just do. And um, when I sew my hat lining up, I only close the center back of the band down about, that center back about maybe two inches. And then I stitch it to the crown. And then after I've got it stitched to the crown, what I do is I take that salvage on the inside and I push it towards the crown. So my salvage from my band is pushed towards the crown. And then I come around and on the outside here, from the top side, I do a top stitch all the way around, and what that does is it gives my my liner a real good finish. Um, the tail end of this, when I cut this, I leave it a little bit extra because if for some reason I need to let this out, if my hat is snug, I've got a little extra, and I can always trim it off if it's um, too big. But this gets folded up and stitched down once it's in the hat. And the band is on. So the next thing I do is before I put my um, band on is I like to put a piece of interfacing on the under bill and it's just a lightweight interfacing and then I'll stitch that on by hand and then when I turn this back I like to come inside and do I've got that interfacing on there and I like to take and tack this a couple spots on the inside and I've also done interfacing on my flaps a really lightweight interfacing on my um, under flap uh, that's up to you but um, it sometimes it feels good sometimes it all depends on how much structure you want your hat to have and but what I do for sure is when I turn this I'll tuck this up, turn it real close so I feel my seams, and then I'll come here and I'll hand stitch the top to the top flap to the under flap a couple of spots, usually about close to the tip, another spot about midway, and then when I have my band or when I have my flap con completely turned, I'll come back here close to the top and do another row kind of in the middle. So I might have at least two in this area and um, at least two in the, going down towards the tip of the uh, flap. I wanna show you, I put a little bit of interfacing on the underside of the brim or the bill. And then I put in two snaps, about an inch and a quarter in from the side and about an inch and a quarter down from the top. Um, just half of the snap. And then I, this is going to turn around and snap when it's done to this side of the hat. So I put a piece of interfacing here, marked it so I have an idea of where I need to put that. So it gives it a little bit more reinforcement. 
um, if they unbutton and button that snap a lot. Now, I want to show you the stitch that I used over here to keep the flap together. It's just a long running stitch, you know, like one, two, three, four, maybe three stitches across, and that holds that nice. Now, on my tips and my brim, I remove the tape. Um, I feel it, it just contours better when it turns, and I take that off on both sides. So I take it off on the brim around the edge, almost way, all the way to the bottom on both sides, and then my tips. The next thing I did was I put my hat band on. So this is just a one inch piece of girl green ribbon. I sewed it to the edge of the hat. And um, so I'll show you how that finishes back. So I got, I put on my girl green ribbon hat band. I sewed that to the edge and I've got my lining and what I did with my lining on the inside, I tacked it at the center front and like on each side, just tacked it a little bit so it won't shift and I can feel the seam right, you know, through there so I know I've got that secure. Well, I did it the opposite direction, but you understand. So then I've got it on my block and I pulled this lining down smooth and I pulled it down smooth and I usually pin it around the edge, but this is the hat band. So I want my lining to come down and not extend into the flaps. I want that to be above that, um, above that. So this is my flap. It's going to come up over my lining and this will get stitched down at the top edge next to the lining. So I don't want a lot of extra bulk in here. And um, so what I usually do is I trim this off and I might take a basting running stitch around or pin it um, so that it stays secure. Actually, I do take a basting stitch around the whole outside and I trim this to probably about a quarter inch above this seam. At the back, after I've got this on, then I take and I know where to um, tuck my center back and I can cut this off on the inside a little bit more so I get rid of some of that extra bulk. And then the last step would be on the hat band. This comes up over the lining and I finish the hat band so this is up and my hat band comes up over each other and tucks in real nice. So in between everything that I've done, I've put this hat on the hat block to make sure that it fits. And um, so that's important. If you don't have a hat block and if you're making it for yourself, try the hat on in between so that you know how it fits. The last thing I do is I'll be taking this off and I'm going to uh, press it from the fur side so I'm sure that it'll um, lay nice and flat. And then my brim will be where I need to put my uh, other side set of my snaps on for my brim. So I'll get that done and then I'll show you what it's like when it's completely finished. I just wanted to show you how this looks after I've got my lining on and I've pulled my grosgrain ribbon up over my lining. So I'm ready to stitch my grosgrain ribbon down now to the lining. I don't catch the leather of the hat. I just catch the top edge of the grosgrain ribbon and um, go all the way around. And then I did the back where it flaps over. So I tucked it in and then I tucked my girl green ribbon in at the same time, and that will finish really nice. Now underneath, I want to show you what that looks like before I stitch this, so you get a perspective of how I did that. I basted my lining down all the way around, 
and I guess I got a little fluff there, and I kept it probably about just above my tape, so that's probably about a half inch above my tape, and then I just brought this, folded this up and over, kept it really smooth. When I brought it up, I want to make sure there's no, like, bubbles in this, flaps or anything. Brought it up, pinned it, and then I'll be ready to sew it on. So, um, it looks good all the way around. Now, for snaps, what I use for snaps um, is a snap that's about this size. Um, and I use a covered snap. So, I suppose it's probably about almost a half an inch apart across. Uh, you can use a black metal snap. You want, you know, it's a, it's a good size. I know they're sized. I don't know what size it is. But they're, in perspective, they're just shy of a half an inch. So, um, one goes on the under brim. And then when I get this done and turned, it'll go on the front band of the hat. So this will turn up and snap to the front band of the hat like that. So I'll be right back after I get the lining in and show you what it looks like when it's done.